Hey, hello there. Professor Jonathan Calheros here. And the purpose of this short tutorial video is to show you how to turn in assignments, quizzes, and how to participate in polls in Admodo. And as you can see, I have logged in as a student. I created a student account. And so this will be the same screen as you would see in your account. And right here on the left hand side of the screen, you will see the classes and it will list for you the classes that you enroll. And in this case, um, the student Zach Ribs is enrolled in the Admodo training course. So let's go right into the course. And once you're in the course, you can quickly filter the posts to be able to view assignment, quizzes, and polls. So right here, you see this option. It says filter posts by. Let's go ahead and click there. And there we go. We can go ahead and apply the filter and we want to um, select assignments. And right here, we can see the title of the assignment, My Favorite City. We also have the due date, which is March 22nd, and also the time um, that this assignment is due. We also have a description um, for the assignment. Here's where you have all the requirements in able to turn in um, the assignment. And also, I normally like to include some support material in the form of videos, um, articles, and websites that will also um, attach to the assignment. So make sure you always look carefully to see if there, if there are attachments to the assignment. Once you're ready to work on the assignment, I'm gonna go ahead and open the assignment. And as you can see, um, we have an option here which says create and one which says attach and most of the assignments we're going to work on will require you to create right here on the platform and you can use a word document you can also use text response um, that's for most of the assignments that we'll have in our class and for this tutorial let's go ahead and open a word document And there you go. So this is the Word document which works right in Edmodo. It works just like a desktop version of Word. So it will be very familiar to all of you. And once you write your text and everything is ready to go, you can go right here and click on Turn In. And I will receive your work and I'll proceed to grade it. In case you turn in by mistake, you can always um, resubmit the work so that's not a problem just let me know through a message and you can definitely resubmit the assignment and let's go back here I want to show you that there's an option also to attach and that's just for assignments where we'll have uh, an activity in class a written activity and in that case you can scan the document and upload it um, to the assignment I rarely do that, but we do have some assignments that will require you for you to write um, the paper in class and then just upload your scanned copy to the assignment. And basically, um, that'll be it. You attach here and you click and turn in assignment to um, so I can receive your work. Let's go back here at home, and we're gonna go into the class again and I want to show you now how you turn in a quiz so once again we go here to filter post by and now instead of assignments we're going to select quizzes there's only one quiz that was assigned to this training course and the title of the quiz is copy number two of English diagnostic once again we have the due date and the time right here so you can view it and also the number of questions which in this case is 35 questions for this quiz once you're ready go ahead and click on take quiz
Okay, and once you click on Take Quiz, you're gonna go right into the screen where it will show you the time limit and also the total questions. And that's very important because you can go ahead and plan accordingly um, in, in terms of your response time per question, considering that in this case you have one hour to 35 questions. So it, it's a good way to, before you start your quiz, to just plan and work with the time you have at hand. So it's a, a good thing to have that here. And you want to go ahead and click on Start Quiz. And very good. As you can see, we have 35 questions in total. You don't have to follow the specific order that is here. Um, let's say you got to number four and you decided that it's going to require more time for you to really think through this question that maybe you want to get back to it later. You can skip to the next questions and then just go back once you're ready to answer that question so you don't have to specifically follow the order that is here. Once you put in all of your answers, all you have to do is just go ahead and click on Submit Quiz. Also, I want to mention that you have the time here always available to see how much time left you have. Um, so that's uh, something good to have there as well when you're taking the quiz. And once you're done, all you have to do is go ahead and click on Submit Quiz. In this case, I, I didn't answer any of the questions. So once we view the results, let's go ahead and click here on View Results you will see that everything is in red, meaning that they're all incorrect. In this case, because I didn't answer any, any of the questions that were there. So, um, once you turn in a quiz, you notice that the questions you got to write, they will have a green color, and that's how you can tell that you got the questions right. Very good, that's for the quiz section. Now, let me go ahead and show you the last one, which is um, polls, how to participate in a poll. So, Let's go back to our home. And here under classes, we're gonna go into the class once again. And now we're gonna filter polls, not by assignment and quizzes, now we're gonna do it by polls. And there's only one poll in this um, training course. And we can see here that we had 17 votes that went to just one book that um, students read a month. That's the that's question we have here, right? How many books do you read a month? And so you can see the answers that each one of the students gave. Um, in this case, it's not showing an answer here. Um, and that's because it was already um, turned in. I'm sorry, not an answer. I mean, the there should be a button here which says vote. And it has already been submitted, so you won't be able to see it here. But in your account, when you see a poll, you see that, that option there, that button, so you can click on vote. Remember that polls, they're not graded and they're anonymous. So you can freely give your answer and it serves as a great way for us to have discussions in class and talk about different topics and some of the questions that I'll post here. And that's pretty much it. We were able to see in this short tutorial how to turn in an assignment, how to turn in a quiz, and also how to participate in a poll. If you have any questions, make sure you send a message. Here's the message option right here at the top and I'll be glad to answer your questions. Thank you very much for your time.